being average. How can that even be a bad thing? P equals MD, right? C gets degrees. In this video, guys, I'm gonna tell you how that kind of thinking is going to be so detrimental. All right guys, what is going on? Lux Sugar and MD Journey, helping you succeed on your medical journey with less stress. Now, if you have watched many of my videos, you probably see a lot of changes, which is first of all, I have a new apartment. I'm now married and I've also recently started residency. So with all those changes, stress definitely becomes a part of the equation, but that's what inspired me to make this series for you guys because being in medicine, being on your medical journey, there's a lot of new changes and kind of areas of anxiety that can happen. So I'm creating this new series called Motivational Mondays, which is basically short little videos where I'm gonna give you one nugget that you can hold on to ideally for the rest of your week to help you make sure your Mondays are amazing as well as your Fridays. So today guys, I wanna talk about this idea of being average and why it can be so detrimental. Now I know you've probably been told that there are people that are going to be average, below average and above average. That's just how it works. That's true. It's not about the results you get. Instead, it's about the effort you put in. It's about striving for that average that you really need to get away from. It's about being your average. And this idea of being content with striving for average. In medical school, guys, I saw this a lot in my peers and I definitely saw some of the tendencies in myself where you're just okay with doing enough because it would produce the results that you always gotten. For example, if you're okay with getting a B because you know that C and anatomy is gonna help you getting a passing grade and that's all you need, you're gonna strive for that B. But over time, guys, you make these bad habits of only doing B-level effort and you never challenge yourself to consistently push yourself to A's. Now, am I telling yourself you need to get A's all the time? Absolutely not. For example, your average in anatomy may be right here. Your classmates may be doing something in this area. It makes you kind of self-conscious, imposter syndrome. That happens. But the idea isn't to get here. The idea is to get right here. And then the next time you take a test, to get right here. Because then over time, you can see your improvement in anatomy get better and better. And then you look back at that student that started um, as a first year medical student, and you see, I'm definitely better at anatomy than that student. It's not about being better than your classmates. It's about being better than you were yesterday. So ask yourself, guys, every single week, every Monday, am I better than my average last week? Am I better than my average yesterday? Because if you're not, then what's the point of going through the week? If you're not a better medical student today than you were a month ago, then what was the need for that month? So find little things, little things here and there that you can do to improve your study, to become more efficient. You know, I have to do that now as a resident. You know, as I said at the start of this video, a lot changed in my life. You know, being married now, I can't be content with the person that I was or the partner that I was prior to my marriage. I have to improve. Being a resident, you know, I can't be content with studying the way I did as a medical student because I have even less time to become more efficient. You know, making these videos for you guys, I've made over a hundred of these videos and I can't be content with the content that I put out, you know, a month ago or two months ago. I have to become better. So find what your better is. It can be something small you know, not noticeable, but something a little bit here and there will move your average until your average will become drastically different than the person you were a month ago, uh, several months ago, a year ago. So that's a long-winded way of saying, guys, don't strive for your average. You know, it's okay if the results don't always pan out. They may not, that's okay. Just don't be okay with giving enough effort. Make sure you're always kind of moving the needle on your personal progress. That includes being a medical student or in your medical journey. That includes in your personal progress as well. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this first edition of Motivational Mondays. If you guys want more, then definitely, first of all, hit that like button, subscribe to this channel, and let me know in the comment section if you enjoy this kind of content, because if you do, I'll keep going. Um, it's going to help me stay motivated. Hopefully it helps you guys as well. So thank you guys for being a part of my journey. Hopefully I've been a little help on yours, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, my friends.